oh, another reveal. Another reveal. Which was like super interesting. We find out that Jasmine just got out of a relationship seven months ago, child. Child. Seven months ago? Seven. Seven. Listen, y'all. Okay? We all know how time freaking flies. Okay? Time flies. Seven months is not a long time. <laughs> Hey loves, it's your girl Candace. I'm here with Confidential Talk. And I know y'all watched Married at First Sight last night, okay? I sure did. And I don't know about y'all, but I definitely felt cheated. Was it just me or like, you know, usually I'm complaining about the fact that the show is two hours long and how it's just so long. But when they ended it in like an hour and 30 minutes and then did that little after show, I was like, where's our extra 30 minutes like i want to see i want to see what's gonna happen at the honeymoon like give us more but i guess we gonna have to wait till next week to see what happened but y'all i i ain't gonna lie i was disappointed <laughs> i actually appreciate the two hour shows now because i was really like what well, where's my extra 30 minutes so <laughs> i don't know if y'all missed it i definitely did but y'all we had a really good show last night the show was called honeymoon hiccups this is the episode four of the season in nashville and, you know, it was a lot of stuff revealed. I have some opinions. I did catch a little bit of the after show. And I think Dom... Um, I'm going to call Dominique Dom probably because that's how I was kind of writing her name in my notes. It's just easier to write her name that way. But, um, you know, Dom kind of defended her um, McKinley's mom. And I caught a little bit of that. So, you know, but I'm going to give my opinion based off of what we saw here on the episode, okay? Even though Dom kind of defended her because, honestly, um, McKinley's mom had me feeling the way. Um, Aries' cousin is just flat out weird. Like, it was just several things. Um, I think we have we found out something about McKinley th uh, in this episode. So, it was just, you know, it was a few things. It was a few things So I want to get into. So, let's get into it. But if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Candace. I do videos on sex, love, relationships, um, some sex toy stuff, some product reviews, and I do these recaps on Married at First Sight. So definitely check out some of my other videos. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, become part of the family, and, you know, comment below. I want to know what you guys think about these couples. How are y'all feeling? Because, I mean, honestly, my opinion changed from week to week, so it's okay. Let's discuss. That's why I'm here. You know, I want to talk to my friends that watch this shit. <laughs> So, I need to talk to y'all about it. So, please comment below because I definitely do respond to comments, okay? Um, but, yeah, let's get into this episode. So, we start off the episode pretty much with everybody getting back uh, from the wedding and into their suites. We get cursing the Shaq first. Um, they get back to the room and Shaq asks for the kiss, okay? So, he got word from the bridesmaids that she wanted him to ask. And this is specifically why I'm so happy Shaq didn't ask at the altar because he would have been made a fool of. It's because she wouldn't have said yes. How is it that she just, I feel like she just wanted something to say like, oh, I, I didn't like this. Like, she wanted to not like something, okay? It is what it is. Because he asked for the kiss and he didn't get one. And she was like, oh, I just don't want him to think that there's nothing else that's going to happen tonight. You know, I don't want him to get the wrong impression. Girl. <laughs> okay. You know what, Kirsten? It is what it is. So then we move on to Diamond McKinley. Um, she bought a body pillow. Okay. So I don't know. Like, everybody has their own separate purpose of a body pillow. Right? But... I just know from personal experience that when I was living by myself and I didn't have anybody to sleep with on a regular basis, that was what the body pillow was for. It was a cuddle buddy. I could just wrap my legs around it. You know, like she said, have between her knees. Like, girl, you're cuddling with the body pillow. You're trying not to say you're cuddling, but you're cuddling. Right? Why'd you bring it? Because... <laughs> 
of course you have somebody else in the bed. I don't know how people use body pillows with sleeping with other people unless you and your person are just not born cuddlers. I don't know. I don't live that life. I love to cuddle. So, but she brought the body pillow. I thought it was kind of weird. And you, you can see that look on his face too. But they got the kiss and stuff. So I thought that was cute. Then we move on to Aries and Jasmine. Yes, sexy sleepwear. Okay. I don't think Aries deserve it. But, you know, she was looking good. I was like, yes, Jasmine. I think she is so cute, y'all. I love her. I think everybody, like, got, I, I noticed the comments <laughs> last episode. People were so turned off from the four dogs and nine puppies. A lot of people were kind of, like, not seeing Jasmine anymore or not really, like, just turned off by it. But, you guys, she has a breeding... I see, I see... We haven't seen her house yet first, one. Two, I see the other side because... If you never know somebody to be a breeder, of course, like, that seems crazy. But if she has proper housing and proper shelter and everything for her dogs that she's breeding, it's because she has a business, then I feel like that's a little acceptable. Obviously, she probably won't have all four puppies and, uh, or all nine puppies and four dogs in the house okay that's what i'm assuming we haven't seen her house yet but like that's what i'm saying give my girl a chance okay because technically she has a breeding company okay because i saw people was coming for her they was like uh-uh that's too much that's too much this is in the house 13 what uh 13 dogs no <laughs> and i was like I, I saw it differently i'm like i don't think they all in the house so you know let's wait and find out but jasmine is my girl and you come out with the sexy sleepwear i'm here for it but please do not give it up to this man because he just too sex deprived and not like actually trying to get to know jasmine i'm not seeing aries asking the the questions that i would love to you know see him ask i don't know he y'all already know if you've been here watching my reviews for the past couple episodes if you haven't go watch them but you know if you have you already know how i feel about aries he is not it he is screaming red flag okay he is a walking red flag it's enough for me y'all it's a no uh but they tired everybody pretty much tired so we getting everybody just winding down taking off their stuff getting in the bed getting their cuddles on um then we get to gina and clint he is excited, okay? He said she exceeded over his expectations. Um, he pretty much expressed that the day could have went left, but it really, really worked out, and he was super excited about it. Then we move on to the next day, and Clint explains how they didn't have sex because, listen, the kids, when they have kids, when they get married, you know, oh, since they married, they have their kids and stuff. They don't want to have their kids seeing that he hit it on the first night and meeting his they mama. So, you know, out of respect for the kids, y'all, Clint ain't getting none, okay? Not because you just met her and she probably wasn't trying, y'all. You know what I mean? Like, all the other reasons probably why. That's why Clint ain't hit. That's what he told us. He's funny. Okay. <laughs> whatever then we get cursing in the shack she feels natural sleeping with him and then she says if anyone wants to know if you were wondering because i know y'all gonna ask i know y'all was skeptical whether or not it happened or not cursing and shack did not have sex she said they did not have sex i know y'all wanted to know i knew y'all was probably you know teeter tottered it whether or not we was gonna have sex or not y'all didn't really know for real y'all didn't know but just so y'all do know we didn't have sex okay because <laughs> you know of course we knew y'all didn't have sex you didn't even kiss the man <laughs> like girl i just cannot with kirsten i literally <sighs> that's y'all's girl i see people do love her i like she's she's beautiful that's all i can say like right now she is a pain in my butt like i need her to give shaq a chance i like shaq at first um I was a little, I was a little like, okay, I, you know, I wasn't really appealed or attracted to him, but literally watching and getting to know him and seeing him in like his full form, I'm like, oh yeah, Shaq is a catch. I like him. And he got, he just give me big daddy energy. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I don't know. Y'all drop in the comments. Let me know if y'all feel the same way. So then we get to McKinley and Dom and... McKinley got the chain on in the bed. I was like, okay, swag. <laughs> Cause he, I don't know if y'all noticed that, noticed this, but he don't look like that during the day. Like he had on a little, you know, a little black tee, gold chain, go in the bed, 
But then you get up and put on that little polo with no chain. I was just like, your nighttime don't match your daytime. I need you to, I need you to get that swag back. I don't know if it's because he was meeting with her parents, but I need, a, or maybe, yeah, that's probably why. Because it was just giving like, what was it giving y'all? I was, it was giving Eminem. Like, it was, you you going to bed with a chain on. It's, it's giving you're down with the people for real. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, y'all. <laughs> it's giving Eminem. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so they wake up, yeah. And then McKinley, you know, they talk about the food and stuff like that. He asks if she can cook. And she was like, oh, yeah, not really. But then I can cook this salmon. I can cook this. I can cook spaghetti. I could. And then she just started naming all this stuff. And I was like, okay, so someone can cook. <laughs> but he looking like, ah, this is all foreign to me. I've never heard of, I've never heard of uh, lemon pepper salmon and, and, and catfish. And she talked about how she caught them catfish herself, cleaned them, and cooked them. I'm like, okay. Okay, Dom. I think she needs to be open, though, if she's really serious about making this marriage work. You know, because um, I am someone that is, like, a jack-of-all-trades, too. Like, I grew up uh, with a single mother, and, like, she... We had to do everything ourselves, so I'm, like, one of those. Like, I don't know how to go catch a fish, clean it, and cook it. But I'm pretty self-efficient when it comes to a lot of things where I just don't need help. And I feel like that's Dom, and I feel like... I want her to be open to the idea of that her husband may not be the same way. You know what I mean? He may not, he may be not as self-efficient or he might be self-efficient, but like, you know what I mean? When I say this, like he might not be like able to do all the stuff that she can do to her capacity, but that is what's going to make her, her in the relationship. I don't know. Like I just, I don't know. I feel like I am usually the person in my relationships where I am the one that, and like the handy woman like move aside i'm gonna fix it like because that's just my personality and i'm just really good at fixing stuff so i don't know i feel like she should just be open to the idea that he may not be on her level when it comes to that but as long as she's open to that because she was just like she mentioned that she was like i want him to be the same way and i know her mom said the same thing so it's just kind of like okay Dom, like you might not 100 percent get that you might get your supporter like you know what i mean so he'll support you while you do it you know <laughs> um but yeah it looked like he don't he don't be drink he don't be eating soul food he don't he don't eat no american food either i don't know some of the stuff that she named it was just like okay anybody can eat this it's not necessarily soul food but it was like oh that sounds foreign oh i don't i don't know what catfish is i don't know what this is i'm like okay all right, <laughs> we're going to see McKinley. And this is, it's interesting because we're about to come up on it. Uh, what he ends up revealing. Um, but I'm going to go to Chris and Nicole. They are so cheesy and cute, you know. Um, they're just giving, they're just giving cute vibes right now the only thing i'm concerned about is chris being too nice nicole seems to be very receptive to it right now um but i don't know how long because if he's oh I, see i'm jumping ahead i'm just i think in these notes right here i just said they're cute and i really have some more commentary but i'm gonna keep going first kirsten the shack we get kirsten's family and friends um Oh, we get them meeting with the their family and friends. So Kirsten meets with Shaq's people and Shaq meets with Kirsten's family. And again, Kirsten's family and friends are doing the absolute most. That was annoying. I can they literally asking I really need Jasmine's people to have that same energy toward Aries, especially because Jasmine um, Aries met Jasmine's like father and mother and like brother so like it was like I needed them to be grilling him <laughs> I don't know what Aries says to these people because they seem to be very receptive to him and you know I was just like I need them to like hop off a of shack because I feel like he's being intentional and another thing it kind of irritated the hell out of me that Kirsten's family is going so hard about whether or not Shaq is intentional or like he his intentions are pure and he's this and that and the third. But your girl don't even feel him. She ain't even feeling him. Why y'all gonna try to like grill my man about what his intentions are when you know that your friend ain't even digging how he look and stuff like that? Like, 
how do you know her intentions at this point is not because like she's looking for perfection and right now i feel like she was being very candid to her friends about how she felt about shaq and obviously we can see it too but she when i feel like when they're together they have like a natural chemistry so like he may not be able to 100 percent see that she is not attracted to him but like we can see that because she's saying it so like I just don't understand, like, all this energy. Like, if anything, just be, uh, just get to know him. Like, why do y'all need to do the most? I don't know. Especially if you know that your friend potentially won't even, like, like him. Like, she don't even find him attractive. I just, I don't know. It's just weird to me. Okay, boom. Okay, so McKinley meets with Dom's family. He's never dated a black woman. He's been out on a date or two with a black woman, but he's never been in a relationship with a black woman. He's only been in relationships with white and Latino women. And obviously, this is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not a red flag or anything. But it was very telling to me when it comes to how his family is behaving, specifically his mother. Um, because I don't think his mother is behaving this way for no reason. Okay, I have a really hard time believing that his mother would be behaving the same exact way if she were white. I'm sorry, okay? I know, I know, I know, I know. Some people be like, oh, it's so easy for you to pull the race car. It, it's not easy. Let me tell you this. I feel like some people think it's easy to pull the race car. It's not easy. <laughs> A thing is a, th is a thing is a thing is a thing. You see, you know, because I've been black all my life, okay? I know a thing when I see a thing, okay? All right? And I know a reaction. Everybody's different, but her reaction, her body language, and I could just, I could just tell. Like, I think that she would be way more receptive if, if Dominique was white, okay? I'm gonna just keep it there. We're not gonna go too far into it. Um... Dom says her expectations were over exceeded. That's what she told the family. Um, and then I put, yeah, McKinley's mom is, she's not, I don't, I'm not going to necessarily call her racist or anything, but she's definitely not liking the fact that Dom is uh, black. I'm telling you that. Um, then we move on to Gina and Clint. So, Gina, we get this revealed this episode. So we get revealed that Gina usually goes for tall, dark, and handsome, okay? She likes the tall and dark hair men with the beard, uh, dark color beard, not the ginger and blonde. That's not her thing. Um, <laughs> she says that to the pops, right? But she kind of cleans it up and says that her ex, which we all know her ex, she was in a serious relationship with, you know, he had a ginger beard and blonde hair. I'm like, okay, girl, you kind of put yourself in that one. Uh, so as soon as she said that to the, the father, I kind of knew there was only so, um, there was only so much amount of time where she was going to say it to Clint. And you see, in next week's episode, it's going to come up. And the look on his face is disappointed because Clint seems like he is in heaven, okay, when it comes to Gina. So, we're going to have to see how that unravels. Um, Gina's friend says Gina and Clint are a lot alike. Um, and they let him know that she's a busy girl. So, they're going to have to figure out how to fit each other into each other's lifestyles. And Clint is like a here 100%. He ain't already up in his mind. Made the plans for kids. Child. They're going to be sailing on his boat. Okay. Skipping out on work. Even though she got a full-time business. And he got a full-time job. You know, he's skipping out on work. He's going to be selling on the boat with the kids. You know, in Clint's mind. Right? So, then we move on to Nicole's dad with Chris. Nicole's dad ain't playing. Okay? He don't know if Chris is a serial killer. And he could be a nice man. But, you know, nice men are serial killers too. Okay? So, he got to watch out for Chris. I'm just like, okay. Now, see, this is energy. You can tell this is pure energy. Like, I, I'm not here for it, okay? I don't care who you are, how nice you look, what, what, what you look like. You with my daughter, I ain't with the shit, okay? But he gonna have to, like, calm it down because, again, you're just meeting him. You're asking him questions and he's answering it, but you're telling him, well... Act, that's just talk you know actually speak louder well i just met you sir i can't you ask me a question i'm just answering it like and the thing about it is you can't really say that because it sounds kind of rude to say that so what do you do 
what do you do so it was kind of like i feel like his dad was kind of setting chris up for failure like it was like let me ask you a question but then i'm gonna hound you for answering it because technically actually speak a lot of the words like let the man okay, just calm down okay your daughter is grown okay she's grown grown and she chose to be in this process respect it and just get to know the man okay like calm down dad okay um then we get Chris's family talking to Nicole and they're pretty much telling him that Chris usually wraps his life up in his relationships and a lot of times he ends up getting hurt and they just really want to make sure that he doesn't get hurt so if she wants to end it you know don't prolong it okay I'm like damn that, that, like wow like Chris sound like he might need therapy or something like I don't know I mean, I like, is it me? Maybe, I don't know. I mean, we all need therapy, but he might need therapy, therapy, okay? Um, let's see here. Then we get to Jasmine and Aries. Uh, and I put, I really wish Jasmine's family would grow up and saute Aries, saute him up, serve him, serve him around. Some around the table, but you know, they just smiling and laughing with him and talking. And this conversation seems like it's going great. So I guess. And then we get Aries' cousin being weird as usual. She's just not believing this. He has a wife. So they ask they ask her, How do you feel about his wife? And she just laughs and walks away and, and she just gets all weird. How do you feel about the woman? It's a you're meeting another woman. Like at first. I feel like I thought that she was just a concerned cousin for the girl because she knew Aries was a player. But now it's just getting weird. Like, it's just like, girl, what, what's really going on? Why are you salty? What's happening? Where's all this energy coming from? Because from a woman, from a woman to another woman, even if that the guy was in my family, I feel like I, I understand... Not, you know, I'm sorry, not even making this a woman thing. Let me take that back. Not even making this a woman to woman thing, honestly. Just, you just met her. How do you feel about her? Is she nice? Do you feel like she's this? Is she, they didn't ask about how you feel about them getting married or anything like that. How do you feel about her? That was a really good opportunity to just say, like, you know, she's a pageant girl. I think that she has really good answers. But other than that, that she's pretty, da da da. But no, you got really weird. So now I'm wondering, are you really the cousin? Okay, she's probably a cousin, but she's weird, okay? I don't know. Drop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about Aries' cousin. She's giving really weird vibes. So, oh, another reveal. Another reveal, which was, like, super interesting. We find out that Jasmine just got out of a relationship seven months ago, child. Child. Seven months ago? Seven. Seven. Listen, y'all. Okay? We all know how time freaking flies, okay? Time flies. Seven months is not a long time. Okay, I have a secret. I have a secret for y'all. And tell me how y'all feel about this. Tell me how dirty I am for thinking this. But I already told y'all how I felt about Aries. I don't like him. And I really feel like he was playing with my girl. Because I really felt like when she came on the show, she was very intentional. She really wants somebody. She, I feel like she deserves somebody. She's beautiful. She got a lot going for herself. Um, you know, she really needs somebody on her level. Like, I'm just like, I was like Team Jasmine. Right? And I felt like the match with Aries, I feel like 100%, I did not trust that he was being intentional at all. I think he's on here for games. And I don't, like, I just don't see it, him being serious about her. So I didn't really want her to give him all her energy. But with these new findings that she ended a relationship seven months ago, this girl's fine. I feel like she gonna put, like maybe she is putting her energy in this. Maybe she is excited. She's giving it the opportunity. But at the end of the day, if it don't work out, I feel like this ain't gonna break her. Like, if she was single for, like, a while, and she finally found out that she was, like, you know, she's in a place where she wants to be in a relationship, she's desiring this, you know, and she just, like, girl, she, she just in a relationship. She, she, she just really started sleeping by herself. And you know how breakups go. When you break up, do you don't, I don't, I mean, everybody different, 
okay but when you break up do you break up break up or do you like break up and then see them a little bit afterwards and then like it linger for another month or two like y'all she cool she cool so if it don't work out jasmine gonna be good she she gonna walk away from this situation with a little bit more publicity a little bit more popularity she good and in my mind when i found this out which again this is bad i know y'all come for me in the comments y'all can come for me because that's what i'm saying we not all like people i'm human just like everybody else we got the good side and the bad side i feel like that was just the bad candidates like oh they just think of the bad and i know i know they're not good thoughts but that was my first thought i'm like well she good because aries ain't here come on y'all who gonna who gonna tell me in the comments aries is here for love he is ready to turn his life around he's a changed man he ain't no longer a player please tell me in the comments that you really feel that way about aries i'll wait because and I'll, I will I will come back because I need to know if you really feel that way because I don't think there's a one single person one single person watching this show that feels that way so for anything I think that all this time I felt like Jasmine was here for that but now I'm like okay she might be here for opportunity she might be here to like you know hopefully meet somebody great but if it don't work out she'd be fine I'm telling y'all she just she just left her man seven months ago Seven months ago. Seven months is fresh. Seven months, depending on how long they, they live together. So they probably were together for a while. I mean, I don't know. It's just crazy, y'all. This, this show crazy. Um, then we get Shaq and Kirsten. Oh, Kirsten finds out that they're not going right away to their honeymoon. <clears throat> that Shaq actually has a meeting conference. I don't know. Something that he has to do presentation. And he wants his wife to go with him to see him in full form. So they're going to be late going to their honeymoon. And Kirsten is pissed. Which is definitely understandable. But honestly, I would kind of be on... I'll be I'll be upset but like I'll be cool with because it's just only for one day I'm um, going with my husband for the ride to get to know him and seeing like him and his element I thought it was kind of weird when she was like I'm just stuck in the hotel all day obviously that didn't work out then that you weren't able to see him in his full element because I would be not in the I would not be in the hotel even if I wasn't going with him to his conference I would not be in the hotel I'll be somewhere going uh, I mean granted it's just Mississippi. But, like, when I go places, even for a small period of time, even if it's a small spa or a small city, I like to explore. I ain't about to sit up in a hotel. What? Unless it's dangerous or something. Unless we in a bad neighborhood. You know, they get me out. Why are we here? But, like, I have a hard time believing that was the case. So, why are you stuck in the hotel all day, Kirsten? Like, what's going on? We need more explanation. That's what I'm saying. I think that's just a personality thing. Uh, I don't know. But... Um, but the rest of the crew, they head to Jamaica. We see everybody meeting up, you know, um, Aries is already talking about he ready for intimacy. He ready to get close, cuddles, kisses, smooches, you know, and, um, and y'all, I was not ready for the episode to be almost over because we're about to get Chris and Nicole's moment and this was it. I was so disgusted, y'all. I was so upset. But then we get, you know, everybody getting back to their suite, enjoying, looking at the hotel, seeing how nice it is. Um, we get Chris and Nicole having a very, um, intimate moment and, um, they both been through some tough stuff. Chris opens up about, um, being hurt and being in a relate, I think I, I kind of zoned out for a little bit during this. I think he was talking about, I don't know if they went to Jamaica together. He'd been there before with someone else and she wouldn't touch him, look at him, kiss him, pay him any of attention. And he tried to hold her hand. He wouldn't hold her hand. And it was just really giving weird, like, it was giving vibes. It was giving something that just wasn't not not attractive vibes like even if that's something that you went through just to be I, I just think it's not not player it's not it's just not a good thing to be so open about that like immediately right when you're just getting to know this woman you just met you just this is day two so like get putting yourself in that kind of like position where you're kind of like a wuss 
right away i wouldn't necessarily do it if you want to open up yes but like i don't know i don't i feel like he went too in depth but it seemed to not bother nicole she opened up even herself about you know her situation and how she's been hurt before and the situation with her uh, um an ex that you know burnt her with a cigarette and made her feel like um you know that she wasn't good enough it was never good enough so she always had to like prove herself in relationships and i you know what when she said that i honestly felt for her i honestly felt for her in that moment because i feel like there's so many people that go through that uh, where they end up in relationships with people and you know they get talked down to and because they love that person they believe they believe what they're saying they you know they're close with that person they love them so when they that person says hurtful things to them they believe it and they internalize it and then it, they, it carries my camera cut off right in the middle of me rambling about nicole's um ex situation but you guys i really really want you guys to comment below let me know what you guys think about this episode i really can't wait for next week we get the preview to that and it looks very very juicy okay um i really want to know how Shaq is talking down to kirsten or talking at her versus you know to her um i really need to see that uh it was something else it was a lot of juiciness lots lots of juiciness aries should jasmine ask um ask, you know, is there anything else you want to know about me ask you know ask me any questions to get to know me and he's talking about favorite sex position gina told clint right to his face that um you know i'm not really into genders uh, gingers but you know here you are <laughs> I was like oh shit and then we get Nicole saying she don't want kids so and apparently Chris won't too so it just seems like a fuck show next week so I am so here for it. you guys please 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 comment I want to know what y'all are thinking about these couples and what y'all think is going to transpire and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video peace